He's eight points to the game. Maybe it's a goal in eight. I'm not sure who finished the, the second goal for Kilnamona. Puck out this side. And again, Kilnamona first to the ball. Kilnamona certainly hurling very, very well at the moment. There aren't all the breaking balls first. And they're dominating from the puck outs. Johnny Barry to take the free. Was that a word of encouragement there from Eugene Cullinan? I doubted if it was, but there were certainly words exchanged. Johnny Barry with the free, floats it in. But this one has gone to the left and gone wide. Was that the words of encouragement that Eugene Cullinan was issuing? Puck out by Eamon Scanlon. That's going to be a free to Aina. I wonder are the Aina Minters thinking of bringing Tony Camady out to centre field. He could have a, a huge bearing there and puck out stopping around that area. He was very influential in the first half. Colm O'Rourke with the free. Four players under the dropping ball. Ball struck in inside. Flicked away there by the right half back, Paul Gannon. And the referee there has penalised Michael J. Wynn for holding the jersey, so it's a free out to kill the Mona. Ina certainly finding it difficult to get scores in this second half. They've only got one point in the second half so far, and it's almost 19 minutes old. They're playing against the breeze. Eugene Cullinan now seems to be operating out around the centre of the field. But that went straight to the left halfback, Donald Cahar. Hand pass out to David Hagerty. Really commanding now at centre half back for Kilnamona. Ball breaks down towards John McCullough. Very nippy player cutting through. McCullough still cutting through. He's fouled. It's going to be a free end to Kilnamona. the target inside that Shawnee Barry is aiming at and he with this lazy stroke of his very lazy style but a very accurate style has now accounted for nine points for Kilnamona well won there by Tony Camady Michael Hagerty is there for Kilnamona so also is his brother David. Well won by Colm O'Rourke. But sends it straight back up the centre. Tony Camady has possession. Lays it off nicely inside. But Paddy McGuan had read that very well. Good defending there by McGuan. But he's robbed. Brian Fitzgerald strikes it in inside. Oh, well flicked inside by Paul McInerney. Is there a goal chance on here? Out comes the keeper, and the keeper does very well indeed. Mike Barrett came off his line bravely and flicked it out for a 65. Noloni with the 65 drills it in goalwards and he makes no mistake with that one sends it straight between the posts that's just Ina's second point of this second half coming from the stick of Ron Noloni still five points separating the sides eight minutes left Tur. Fergal Hagerty racing after it Hagerty has possession well blocked down inside by David Heher. Ball breaks back. 
This is Brian Hager in position. Again, a good block down. Brian Hagerty links out with Alan Commons. But the referee once again has the notebook out. And he has the notebook out. And if he has the notebook out, that's trouble. That's trouble for the centre half forward, Paul Queeley. Because his name had been taken already for a high challenge on David Hagerty. And that was another high challenge. And Paul Queeley makes the lonesome walk towards the dugout. He has been sent off the Ina side. So that's certainly trouble for Ina. And we're trailing by five points, but we'll now have to play out the remainder of this intermediate final with just 14 men. So how will Ina now rearrange their forces? They're down to 14 men. The free has been struck in inside. Well taken under the crossbar there by Eamon Scanlon. But the referee has penalised the forwards for charging in on top of the goalkeeper, so it's a free out to Ina. Five points between the sides. Hard pulling there, but it's Kinnamona on the attack. Colin Moreau tries to break up the attack. The referee has blown the whistle, and it's going to be a throw in. It's going to be a throw in. Where will Kilnamona use the extra men now? Or who will they who will they use as the extra men out around the centre? Shawnee Barry with the free. And again he makes no mistake. His tenth point for Kilnamona has been deadly accurate all afternoon. I think it's David Hagerty has given the one as the as the loose man. The referee there has penalised him for picking the ball off the ground. Meanwhile, Aina are bringing in another substitute. Noel Callanan is coming into the side wearing number 19. So is this the last throw of the dice for Aina? They have used up their three substitutes. This is Tony Carmody, but there's still time enough for them to come back into it. There's six points between the sides. There's over five minutes left in the game so far. Brian Hagerty. Has had a very, very good game for Kilnamona. Colm O'Rourke swings it back into the centre. Nice first time hurling by Jimmy Camady. This is Hagerty once again. This has been very, very hardly fought intermediate final all throughout. Either side not prepared to give an inch. One would expect nothing else. The two teams coming from the same parish. Either of them have never won this intermediate final. So there will be joy in either Aina or Kilnamona this evening. Alan Cummins for Kilnamona. Drops it down the centre. Richard Tierney fast out to that one. This full forward line have been very dangerous throughout for Kilnamona. Oh, lovely ball inside. Just struck too firmly ahead of... Shawnee Barry, and out comes the keeper. Gets it out as far as Noel Wynn. Blocked as he tries to get his clearance in. This is Joe Meskell. Meskell swings it down towards the goals, but it seems to be curling, and it's gone to the right and wide. Two fourteen to one eleven. the scoreboard reading. This is Tony Camady. Has been much quieter in the second half. Nice ball inside, Eugene Cullinan. Is there a goal in Aina to bring him back into the game? They're playing with 14 men. That surely was a free, but the referee has waved on the play, and it's gone to the left and wide. Certainly Aina can't afford to waste chances like that one if they're to pull back this six-point deficit, because they now have to operate with 14 men. This is Brian Hagerty. What a great second half he's had for Kilnamona. Showing great pace. He cuts downfield. Swings it in. But it's gone to the left and gone wide. Kilnamona's.